Hi girls, it's Monday. I hope you enjoyed that nice little chin moving, super excited, quivery little introduction. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was what was going on. But anyway, it's out of sync as well. But I can't bother to record it so you're gonna have to part with it. Um Yes, hello. It's it's Monday and, and I've actually made something. And I finished my exams now. Yay! So hopefully I'll be making more. I mean I will be making more, not hopefully, I will. Um Right, who who have I got to reply to first? Arnie. You asked me if um, we had security guards at my school, or whatever, um, and yes we do, on the outside gates only, and sometimes they walk the corridors, but like, that's if they've been called in. Um, it's because we're like a big college, so they sort of need them, and people come from really far and wide, so yeah. And we all have like our own little ID cards with our picture, so we have to show them when we go in the gate. But they don't have like metal detectors or anything like that, it's just just the security guards. Um Yeah, at our old school we didn't have anything like that. It was an all girls school and it was like between the ages of eleven and sixteen. But like no one really bothered making that much trouble, so we didn't have anyone to deal with that. And um the head of upper school, Mrs. Digby, who's now died, which is really sad. Um yeah, she, I think she was, her presence was enough to put people off doing anything bad. So we didn't really need security guards then. Oh yeah, college. Um, here, college is like sixth form. So your high school's from like the ages of 14, I think. Is it? 14? Or 13? Or something like that? To the ages of 18. But our secondary school's from ages 11 to 16. And then some people have a sixth form, which is 16 to 18. Or some people have a sixth form college, which is like separate which is our college and then we have university which is includes undergraduate so we don't have like yeah anyway sarah yes i've probably got about like six million punishments outstanding so people just punish me but don't make me blenderize anything because one i don't have a blender and two i have a phobia of being sick and three I have a quite a weak stomach when it comes to things with a gross texture so all in all that would be worse punishment for you than it would for me but also it'd be horrible punishment for me so just think about how bad it would be for you to do so yeah uh all my exams are finished now thank god uh I only had four but they were quite mm. I wasn't very prepared for them. Well, English is fine. But I, I went, had my first English, and that was two and a half hours long. And that was horrible. I thought it was going to be okay and really easy, because normally I'm alright with that. But, um, no. Oh, they asked me really weird questions, and they gave me horrible poems that I hadn't done. And then I had history in the afternoon, and I was expecting not to be able to say anything about anything. And at least I managed to write something down for each question, but I'll definitely be retaking in January. And then two days later I had another English and that was fine. That was alright. Um, and the extract of non-fiction that they gave me was um, an autobiography of Bill Bryson, which my English teacher in Year 9, the one that I love, um, was a bit obsessed with, so it was a bit weird. But she like fixed it for me. And then I had another history exam, and that was source paper, and that was okay. Um, I thought it was going to be worse, but they gave me the questions that I revised for, so fingers crossed I did a lot better than that, than that one than the first history one. Yeah, that was all been done, and now I've got two weeks left of just normal classes, A2 classes, and then I'm finished for the summer, finally. Um, my invigilator fell asleep, or she like started nodding off. She's like, and that's the second time it's happened. Second, second time it's happened to me, 
in two years. The first year I was doing my exams at home and the invigilator fell asleep on the sofa. And this year she fell asleep in the classroom. But it's a different invigilator. I don't know what I do to them. I must have waft out sleeping essence. It was a bit weird. They, they didn't like proper fall asleep. It was not like falling asleep so I could cheat. Not that I would cheat anyway because I just, I think it's horrible but just, just for the exam boards out there. Um, yes, more in Johnson Gathering on the 27th, the day after I break up from college. I um, don't know if I'm going at the minute. I'm trying to convince myself to go. I don't really have anyone close that I can go with. Um, but I've decided that I might buy her something and then I'll have like a reason to go. Plus there's something I have in mind and I think it'd be quite a good present for her. I don't, I really don't have anything to say. Or like no purpose of this video. But I hope you're all okay and I'm sorry it's been so long since I did it. I was just so stressed about all my exams and everything and towards the end of the like study leave I was just so exhausted. So um, yeah, but now everything's finished so I should be off to fine. So Sarah, I will see you tomorrow. I'm sorry the content was even worse than the introduction.